Hey everyone, Johnny Struggles here. You know what game this is, The Last Starship. Uh, I'm going to discuss a more advanced ship editing topic today. I've been getting asked questions. Mr. Struggles, how in the hell are you putting fighters on your ships? How does that work? How do you do that? Please explain. So, this video is to explain that. Alright, so let's just jump in and we'll just go, get right to it. So, creative mode. Um, my most recent Starbase, I created this one. It has fighters on us, so we'll just use it as an example. Uh, so, cool new star base. Um, so I already have fighters on here, as you can see. But let's say we want to add a new fighter. Let's just start with where we want to put it. And for a brief example, we'll just put it here. Do, 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 do. Say at the end of the scaffolding here, we'll confirm that. Now the fighter graphic doesn't quite line up with the placement of where you put it. It's about seven squares wide. It kind of off a little bit, but what I want to do at first to make this easy on me is I want to put an object in the game that I can then replace with a fighter. So I'm going to go to spawn, and I like to use like spacesuit pods or anything that's one square, and use this as a marker, and it adds an object into the save file for the ship that I can then replace with a fighter, and that's the main trick. And that helps you from preventing helps prevent you from breaking your ship file. Um, the easiest way I found this for alignment. Because if I just put this here, the ship's going to be like overlapping this a lot. It's got to sit way out here. The point is actually like the... What do you call this? The, uh, <laughs> the bubble here. Where the cockpit. Yeah, the cockpit. That's where I was missing. One, two, three, four squares over. And one, two, three, four squares up. So it was going to go one, two, three, four squares up. And that should put the, the cockpit right about here. And that should align the ship pretty well with the, the base here where the engines are there. And makes it look kind of nice. So what I need to do now is export the ship to save it. Export ship. And I don't want to overwrite my existing ship. Let's call this uh, Starbase Ballisto Test. Just because I don't want to break my existing ship on accident. Create new save. And now we want to go to our ship file. So let's reload this. Doop -doop. All right, here it is. So you want to go to your ship file, and this is in this path. On Windows, it goes to your user, whatever your username is, app data, local, introversion, last starship, ships. So all your exported ships get saved in this directory from creative mode. Well, I guess all, any exported ship goes here. These are where your ships are saved. So I want to edit this ship. You can use Notepad or whatever your favorite text editor is. So load that up. And from messing with us, there's a section where every object in your ship is defined. And it's going to be at the very end of that section, which is right here. So item number 864 is the spacesuit pod I just added. This section ends right here, and then it goes to another section of the ship file. So every object, all your fuel, your railgun ammo, everything gets an item entered into the ship file here. Uh, the one thing you have to be careful about breaking your file, you can't just copy this and paste another one down here. There's this numbers kept track of, I believe, if I remember correctly, and doing something like that without adjusting the total number of records causes it to break because it's, it's, you get an extra entry it's not expecting. Something like that. It's probably some array defi definition. Um, anyway, so here's a spacesuit pod I just entered. So now we got the position of where it's at. It's in these XY coordinates. And that's the main thing we needed. So this already has a bunch of fighters in it. So I'm going to jump to one of my existing definitions. Go find fighter. And I'm going to copy from below the position coordinate. So we have a type of fighter here. And I want to copy the velocity x, y, and the turret definition here. Copy that. And jump back to the bottom of the file where my spacesuit pod is. So I'm going to keep the position coordinates because I need those. And I'm just going to highlight all the rest of the stuff that I don't need. The begin slots, end slots. So here's the end of it. Paste over all that. It came in pretty clean. We're going to change the name of this. It's not a spacesuit pod. We want a fighter. So we need to rename this to fighter. We need to update the position coordinates for the turret entry line down here to match the ones up here, which is pretty close already. 120.5. And 92.5. For the y. Okay, so the velocity x and y is the orientation of the fighter. Y, negative 1 and 1 is up and down. I think negative 1 is... Which way is negative 1? I think negative 1 is pointing up and 1 is pointing down. And 
x, I think one points to the right and negative one points to the left. And you can put fractions or bigger numbers, or whatever, to orient the fighter in different directions based on that. Um, okay, so let's just save this file. We'll reload our ship in the game and see how it looks like now. Now, one thing I'll do for you, I will put this section in the description of the video so you can use that as a reference. So you don't have to be squinting at the screen if this doesn't, you know, show up very well on the, on the video. So this will be in the description. You can use that as a reference to do your own fighters and your own games, for your own ships. You have fun with that. So let me go back to the spacesuit pod. We're going to abandon game. Creative mode. Reload our ship. Look at that. we got a fighter pointing the wrong direction, but it's there. Isn't that special? Let's uh, go back to our ship file. So our velocity, negative 1, yeah, points up. We change this to a 1. Save this. Uh, abandon game. Reload the game. Hey, now he's pointing the right way. And you can see that, like, this is a little offset. It's a little to the right, because that's where I oriented it. I can shift it over by adjusting the X coordinate a little bit to get this more centered. Okay, and that's how you get the fighter in here. And we, it was vertical. I'll change the X position real quick. The velocity, anyway. Let's do negative 1. Uh, and then shift back, back to the left. And get rid of that extra number there. I guess, I don't know. I don't think it matters. It probably just truncates it. Uh, let's save that. Back to the game. Come on, mouse. Abandon game. There we go. Now it's pointing to the left. And it's out of 45 because I have the Y position with a definition of had 0 for Y and made 1 for X, it points straight left. And, you know, the opposite. I've had 1 point to the right. So with this, you can adjust the velocity parameters from 1, negative 1, and to other numbers. You can mess around with it to get the orientation of the fighter the way you want it to be. That's pretty handy. Um, one thing I will say about the fighters, though, is when they're on friendly ships and your ship gets shot, the game logic, I haven't tested this in a while, but the game logic will have the fighters attack whoever attacked you, but then they're like enemy ships and they'll attack you as well, and your ship will attack them. So these are ideally on hostile ships. They behave normally on hostile ships. So they're best played as an enemy, enemy ship with these. So another thing about this is the behavior. So when the ship does get shot, not all the fighters launch at the same time. They launch one at a time, and they launch in order of the definition in the file, from what I remember. So the first ship in the definition at the top of the file get launched first, and the next one, next one, next one. So keep that in mind when you place the fighters. Like in my Dream Nebula, I defined them backwards originally, so the ship in the back got launched first, and the one in front of it then launched. And I was like, ah, oh, that's a bit silly. So that's something to take note of when you're doing this stuff. Um, and there's a bit of a delay, and it's unfortunate. It's to pitch camp more than one ship launch at the same time, because what happens is you end up having a line of fighters going towards the enemy, and, you know, the Gatling guns just annihilate the fighters in that uh, in that situation, because it's like, they come, in, they come in line, so they have plenty, usually the Gatling guns have plenty of time to take out the fighters, and the fighters can't really overwhelm the target. Uh, yeah, let's, let's break our game file. Let's see if we can do that real quick, just to show you an example. Um, like I was saying, if I just copy this entry here, let's try because I haven't done this in a while, let's see if it still causes a failure. So if I copied this section, pasted it in, and let's just say I put 864 as the next item, or 865, sorry, it's 864, 865, and let's just bump the parameter on the X over five points to still not overlap in case it actually works. Uh, we'll save this. Back in our game, we'll abandon this and try to reload it and see if it crashes on us. Yeah, so... My game's locked up now. You can't, I don't know if you can. So, it actually caused a crash in the game, as you can see here. Assertion failed. Da 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 da, equals zero. So, it, I mean, line number 1338. So, you know, broke, broke the file. Looks like it took our second ship entry and put it and got rid of the first one. But, it still failed. So, to avoid that, you know, you kind of be careful with the file. Don't screw with it too much. Uh, try to do it like I was explaining there. So, let's go back to the ship file. It actually broke up my recording as well. I had to reload it. And when it crashed, I uh, hung it up. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I already have it open in the text editor. Mr. Plus Plus. So I'm just going to delete this entry here. 
Now, if you find, if you go to the very beginning of the section, it it um, defines how many entries there are. I can go there and just bump the number up. To, I think it's 866 because it probably starts at zero. And just update that number, and then it would work fine. But I'm not going to do that. And I like using the placeholder to give me the coordinates to where to put the fighter anyway. Again, you don't have to. If you know, you mess with this enough, you know how far apart they need to be. You can just bump the coordinates over. It's just the graphic doesn't quite align with the square, so you kind of have to do some playful stuff with that. But anyway, that's basically it. Uh, let's go back to the game. Abandon. Creative mode to make sure it loads up properly. Yep, there we go. All back to normal. And that is it. So hey, let me know if you have any questions about this. If you see anything else you're curious about how I did it and any shipbuilding stuff. I think this is the only one that was really people were really curious about. But if you do have questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer. And with that, hey, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.